This video is for educational purposes only and does not encourage or endorse illegal activities. Hello guys, I'm Virus Mike. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install custom firmware on your jailbroken PS3 using only your console without PC or USB. Before starting the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. On the previous video, a lot of people, when go on system update, only have this option, update via internet or update via storage media. On my previous video, you can see I have update via system storage and delete update data on system storage. Now I'm going to show you how you can enable this option. If you go on custom firmware tools, QA tools, here you can see enable QA flag advance option. Enable advanced QA flag through network settings. Button combo L1, L2, R1, R2, L3 and deeper down. By the way this work on custom firmware rebug as well, not only on Evelnet. So go down on network settings and press the button combination you see already. As you can see the debug settings is visible now. Go down and here you can see a system update debug off. Turn on this option. Now go back on system updates and now the other two options is available. You can use it. Now go on webman mode, webman setup and enable dev blind first now scroll down and go on update webman mode custom firmware mods and install extend and download plus icons press yes Now go on internet search and type virus mic. Click on the first link. Then you wait to install mods. Scroll down and click on this image. If you are on hex, install pex, I will not. If you are on dex, install dpex. Now I'm on hex, so I'm going to install. PEX Evelyn version. Click the link, click on the download button, dev hdd0, packages and press start. OK. Now you need to wait. Now go back on XMB Package Manager Install Package Files PS3 System Storage and install the custom firmware Evelynet PEX. Now go on settings, system update and now you can choose update via system storage media. And that's the PEX Evelynt 4.92. Let's install a custom firmware.
press the PS button to use the controller and now wait As you can see, I'm on firmware 4.92, and now I can switch between hex and dex. Now I'm on hex. Let's swap a kernel. Oh. Convert to dex first. Now I'm on deck. That's it for today. I hope you like this video, find it useful and interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.